I'm excited. England v Denmark. Let's go. I'm so excited. Hopefully we win. Although Denmark are on the attack now, which does not bode well. I'm still terrified. Especially, oh dear God. Thank you. Pierre Jordan Pickford. <laughs> We're 24 seconds in, man. Don't do this. Anywho, back to what I was saying, our team is unchanged from our game against Serbia, which ended rather shakily, in my opinion. It wasn't our best performance, um, at the end anyways. First half, I think we were quite good. Uh, so, I desperately hope this game will be much better, in the sense that I would want it to be rather a large margin in terms of goals instead of the one against Serbia, as I was constantly on the edge of my seat, and now England are in possession, Kyle Walker, but that's a very short ball. Walker, Foden's on possession. I beg you, shoot! Ah! He ran back! That was so, so wide. Clem Rice, Harry Kane, I beg you, shoot! No. Walker, someone shoot! Yes! Yes! First goal! 1-0 England! Come on! Kane, an easy finish. Come on, 1 0 England. We are very lucky. That was absolutely terrible from us. We could have conceded and this would have gone to be 1 1. That was just not good. He just couldn't shift it out of his feet, which we're very, very lucky that he couldn't. Oh my god! Really? We worked so hard. I can't even be upset because it was a good goal. I can't even be upset. <laughs> I, I can't even be upset that it's 1-1 by Am because I obviously I don't I didn't want them to score. Look how wide open this was. It was that's a good goal. But still that could have been so easy to to you know close them down, yet we didn't do that. Ah oh, that was good though, that was good, but um I'd prefer to have more power and actually in the goal, but that was good from Phil Foden. Foden, lines one up! Oh, that was closer, but it's still over! Okay, so it's half time. We're currently 1 1 at this current moment. Deserved goal for Denmark, of course. They had that. Their goal ultimately kind of looked better, but that doesn't matter. The look of the goal does not matter. Goal's a goal. Basically, um, what we learned is that Kane doesn't press, he goes more deep more than anything, which doesn't exactly help. Um, Foden keeps going uh, into the middle centrally. He gives more, he gives well England hope. So, Mr. Southgate, put him in the middle. If he goes in the middle anyways, why put him on the left if he's gonna go in? I don't know. Oh, it was a goal! No! Oh, I thought it was a goal! Oh, that's such a tease. That was such a tease. I thought that went in. I thought that went in. I won't lie to you. But it went on the other side. Come on. Come on, dude. No. Into the box and it's right in the path of a Danish player. Foden shoots! Oh, it's off the post! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! So upset! Three substitutions for England. Eze is coming on, Bowen is coming on, and Ollie Watkins is also coming on. Three substitutions. Uh, Bakaya Saka, Harry Kane, and Phil Foden. Don't do this! No! Go away! Thank you! Thank you! Mark yeah, he, you lost the ball, but you came back and salvaged it for us, so thank you. Oh, thank you, Gehi. I mean, you lost the ball, but you got it back for us, so there's something. I mean, it's still a corner, which I'm still very terrified of, in the honesty. I think I genuinely still have PTSD from set pieces from watching the lionesses against france but still don't do this to me not now thank you it's over and that's full time in frankfurt it ends 1-1 we get a point out of that we're still top of our group we have four points to our name yeah the second half we were terrible um losing silly balls possession wise we were quite bad i applause i applaud you know southgate for making substitutions uh, you know, earlier on in the game than what he would have done before. However, those substitutions haven't really worked in our favour. We probably lose, we probably lost more possession in the second half than we did before making the substitutions, which is just rather annoying. We keep getting caught in possession as well, losing those balls. So, yeah, it's not great. I think out of all the substitutions, Ollie Watkins probably did the best. He made a couple good runs. So, out of 10, I'd probably give him a 5.5, 6 out of 10. All the others... All the other substitutions that came on probably give them a four um, or something along the lines of that. 
uh, which, sorry if you don't agree, but that's just why I think the substitutions weren't exactly amazing. Although it was nice to see Eze on the pitch, his first uh, game for England in the Euros. Um, next game is against Slovenia. Hopefully we get to see a bit more uh, players uh, like Cole Palmer, Anthony Gordon. Two players that have big energy. They could definitely run a hell of a lot on the wing and give us um, a bit different of a, uh, of a dynamic. So hopefully we get to see them. But that's going to be it for this video. If you've enjoyed, make sure to like it. Comment what you thought of the England's performance and who you thought was actually our best player. Um, it was a bit hit or miss for me. It was underwhelming. It was frustrating, annoying. <laughs> That's literally it. But comment what you guys thought and hopefully I'll see you very soon with a brand new video.